Sometimes we can't move. We can't raise our heads from looking down at our own frozen feet, unable to take the next step. Sometimes we don't even want to wake up from this apathetic slumber, this mind prison we locked ourselves into and which looks so much kinder and safer than whatever awaits us outside of it. Sometimes we feel like we are just burning our lives away, and we very well know it, but even then, that's about all we can do. Maybe that's all we have the courage to do. After all, fencing the possibility of a success is so much more appealing than facing the reality of a defeat. You can avert your eyes and believe that, if you swung the bat, you would have gotten a home run. But only as long as you don't actually swing it. And you can just stay like that. You can keep looking away, waiting for something to happen, unsure whether to pray for or be terrified of it. Nothing is easier than doing nothing. You can blame the irresponsibility of the people around you for leading to this situation, and lament how your parents and your school have failed you. You can insult and despise yourself for your weaknesses and inability to overcome them. You can cry out about how you have no choice but to surrender to the invincible circumstances. You can sit there, looking at the ground, and easily find over a thousand perfectly valid justifications. But nothing can change the fact that none of that is going to get you anywhere. Sure, if you have anything at all going for you, then you can probably at least find someone else to cling to, likely the occasional lover whom you're going to be all over in an effort to find some kind of meaning or goal for yourself in them. Less likely the always listening, patient and caring best friend who will work as a dumpster for all your emotional discharge, but chances are they are not going to be there forever. They are going to live their lives, move houses and cities, and they are going to change. You are going to be left behind. And then you are going to have to find somebody else and cling to them for as long as you can, before repeating the process over and over again until you become numb to it, or completely close yourself off from other people and look for meaning in anything else that can fill that void and give you some easy goal, sparing you from the terrifying task of finding and pursuing your own. Whatever the case, at some point you are going to have to ask yourself if this is what you want the rest of your life to be, or if maybe there is something more, something that you want to do. And if the answer is the latter, you have no choice but to accept it. You have to stand on your own feet, embrace who you are and find your way. And it's never going to be easy. You'll never know whether the way leads to happiness or failure until you walk it, until you decide to move on and face the world. In the end, when everyone has left, your own prison has failed you and the uncertain future looks down on you from the sky, you'll realize that the answer was always the same. And the only thing left for you to do is to swing the bat.